Hello and welcome back to Lord Fat Gaming Plays Ultima 1, the first Age of Darkness. Um, your host Lord Fat. In this Ultima 1, the first Age of Darkness new player guide, I'm going to go ahead and guide you all on how to create your character, how to survive the world, and much more. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget no case bells to be updated and much more. Don't panic, help is on the way, so let's go ahead and talk about character creation, shall we? Character creation in Ultima 1 can be really daunting at times, but don't worry at all. I'm going to go ahead and pop out this chart to show you all on the uh, stats that you uh, do get to distribute during the course of the game to your race and of course uh, class 2. So here's the chart. Let's uh, go over the stats, shall we? Strength, how hard you can hit with a successful attack. More points in strength, much more damage you get to do. Agility, how much you can land blows and also evade attacks. More points in agility, more your blows connect and more likely you could dodge attacks too. Stamina, reduced damage from physical and magic attacks. Good to have. Charisma affects prices for selling weapons and armor. So you find any weapons and armor, more points in the charisma, much more you uh, definitely uh, get when you sell these items. Wisdom uh, is a success rate of spells. More points of wisdom, more successful your spells are after it's being cast. This also affects spell prices too for buying, so more points of wisdom, cheaper your spells are. Last but not least, intelligence affects prices of buying items. Uh, is certain items except for spells, that's in the wisdom department. And uh, increases uh, damage on magic missile, more points you have in intelligence. So those are your uh, stats. I'm going to go ahead and now talk about the four classes. I'm going to go ahead and go over each of the classes. Uh, please uh, do note that I'm only going to be uh, talking about as if you're starting out as one of these four classes. So here we go. Fighters! Their uh, classes focus on melee damage. However, they cannot cast magic throughout the entire game. Thieves, they're a little bit weaker than uh, fighters. However, they got a little bit of agility boost there. When you start out as them, however, like a fighter, they cannot cast magic. Clerics can cast most of the spells in the entire game. And then uh, last but not least, Wizards can cast every single spell in the entire game. Now, when you max out all the uh, stats, everybody be even steaming on the stats. So my uh, advice is definitely go ahead when you first start out is pick a Wizard. For a real challenge, play a Thief or a Fighter. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about classes stats when you do uh, select that class and what stat bonuses you uh, definitely get. Here's the following classes when you do pick them and the stats you uh, gain. Fighters, they gain plus 10 strength and plus 10 agility when you do pick a fire when you create your character. Thieves, they only gain plus 10 on the agility. Now, clerics, on the other hand, they gain plus 10 wisdom. Really useful for buying spells very early on and very cheap. Now, uh, wizards finally, last but not least, gain plus 10 on intelligence. However, they also gain plus 4 spells that they could cast that clerics cannot. So we're going to go ahead and go over the races and plus the uh, stats that you uh, do gain when you do pick out uh, one of these races. Here are the races and the starting stats you uh, do gain when you pick a certain race. Dwarfs, uh, when you uh, pick a dwarf, they gain plus 5 strength when you start out as them. Elves, uh, they gain plus 5 agility when you do start out as them. Humans gain plus 5 intelligence when you do start out as them. Bobbits gain plus 10 wisdom when you start out as them. However, they get minus 5 strength. Now, the best combo and the stats I did for Ultima 1 as follows. Base stats 25 strength. Uh, base stats 15 agility. Stamina, charisma, and wisdom at 10. Intelligence I did was I keep that at 25. Now, I picked a race that uh, boosts up my agility uh, to 20. And the wizard plus 10 uh, intelligence boosts that up to 35. Plus the four spells are very, really nice. So next part of this uh, new player guide is the controls, a.k.a. keyboard commands. Time to go over the keyboard commands in Ultima 1. Yes, they can be confusing at times, so I'm going to list every single one of them to help you all out, even the useless ones. Arrow keys, that's your movement keys. That's where you move around the world and also in dungeons too. And later on, a certain location I'll mention. Now, uh, spacebar is your advanced time key. If you want advanced time, go ahead and do so. Now, if you idle too long, then time will get advanced. And every time we advance time, it'll consume some food. So be careful with that. The A key is the attack key. Now, in dungeons, as long as you face your foe, just hit the A key, and that's it. You're attacking them. 
on the overworld you have to hit the a key plus the arrow key in the direction you're attacking so if the uh, foe for example is north of you then you hit the a key plus the up key b key is uh, aboard a horse ship or a vehicle good to know c cast spell now please note you must ray a spell first before casting it we'll get to that in a few moments uh, D drops an item, so once you drop a certain item, it goes bye-bye forever, so remember that. E, enter location, like for example, towns, castles, and dungeons. F, fire guns on certain vehicles, and yes, you do gain experience points for this, so once you get a vehicle, then you can safely annihilate foes from a long distance for free experience points and gold too. More on that tactic later on, so let's get to the next set of keyboard commands. Here are the second set of keyboard commands. G is the get key. Now, uh, what you get, you'll have to get a certain item. H is hyper jump, requires a spaceship. I'll go into greater detail for that. I is information reveal names and uh, places around you. This works in space too. Now, next up is K, is you're climbing your ladder, you're up or uh, down. N is noise on or off. That's like your sound on or off in the sub game. Yeah, especially uh, the uh, older versions with the PC speakers. Turn it off. Just trust me. It's very annoying. Oh, open up a coffin and be careful when you do that. Sometimes enemies will pop right out. Q, save your game in the overworld. Yeah, you can only save in the overworld, but this is very important to know. This is your save game button. Now, R is ready, aka equip a weapon, armor, or spell. Last but not least is S, steal from shops. Now, here's the deal. You can steal many times as you want to until you get caught. If you do get caught, Run out of town ASAP, then go back in since guard aggro will reset and steal once again. More into a greater detail for that, so let's get to the last set of keyboard commands. Now, next up is transact. That's talk to uh, shops to buy or sell certain items. Next up is also with transact, is talk to pub owners and pubs, or talk to kings for penance or services. You also transact with certain people later on in the game. You have to discover that for yourself. You unlock chests or uh, doors, really useful to have. So you have a key for certain doors, you get to unlock them. V, view change, used in space. We'll get into greater detail for that. Now uh, X, that is exit a horse or a vehicle. Last but not leastly is Z, that is stats. It shows your uh, character's stats. Really useful to uh, use, aka to have. So you hit the Z key, and then it tells you what you need to uh, do for leveling up or what items are definitely on you or how many spells you have so definitely remember uh, that that is it for keyboard commands if you need help just use my timestamps so this way you can use these keyboard commands to get through ultima one so for next part of games ui and starting out time to go over the ui and ultima one south of the screen is uh, your uh, command that means i'll tell you where you go south west east etc also attack too and when you do enter places too. On the uh, lower right, uh, hits is your hit points. That gets to zero, you die. Uh, food is uh, there, the second line. Gets to zero, you die. EXP is your experience points, how much experience points you have. And coin is how much uh, gold you have currently. Now your uh, stat screen, it tells your hit points, your uh, current stats too. Also how much money, what, what items you have, and more. That's it for the UI. Let's talk about how to start out. Starting out in Ultima 1 can be very rough. So I'm going to go ahead and guide you all on how to start out, how to get some extra items and more. First, you want to go to the city of Britain, so not the castle of uh, this. Hit the E button to enter. Now, you need to buy weapons and armor. I'm going to probably say since you're a wizard, good ideal to uh, definitely buy a mace. That's all you could get. Now, more you level up. Uh, more weapons are available to you, so definitely want to level up big time. So we got the uh, mace, and now we have uh, 92 coin left. Well, what we're going to buy uh, next is some uh, armor. We're going to do is uh, leather. That's all we could uh, get. Now, like I said before, uh, more you level up, once again, more items are available. So we're uh, done buying weapons and armor, so we're going to get some food next. But let's go ahead and equip them. So hit R ready, then uh, go ahead and select the one you want. We got the mace uh, ready. We're going to raid the armor, which is leather. So if you die, whatever's on you, it stays, I believe, and whatever's not on you, it goes bye-bye. So we're going to go ahead and buy some food. Now uh, it says 10 uh, packs of food for uh, four pennants. That's four uh, coin. So we're going to go ahead and just do five. We've bought five packs of food, so we have enough. 
Now our next stop is the castle. Now there's some tricks I'm going to show you all in the castle. You're going to need some gold. Now we're going to go ahead and go up ahead to uh, that. And we're going to uh, go ahead and interact with, if I remember right, is uh, D, drop penance. Now we're going to drop it into this uh, lake yeah, or pond. And, and when it says Shazam, uh, you do get a random stat up. So we got randomly agility up. So keep that in mind when randomly do that. But there's better ways to gain stats. I'll tell you that later on. Now uh, this pool, if you uh, go ahead and hit the uh, uh, drop key penance and hit 10, you'll actually uh, will uh, get something. So let's go ahead and uh, check that out. And what we uh, have now... Looks like another piece of uh, leather armor, I think it is. Let's uh, go ahead and try that too. Now we'll do this one, drop pendants, and uh, we'll do another 10. And this one, I believe, is uh, Ramley uh, also uh, weapons too. So we got a sword out of it, and the best you can get is a ranged weapon, which I'll list later on. So now we're ready the uh, new uh, weapon, and that's how you get some nice starting out items. Now uh, later on, I'll tell you about dungeons. Uh, and how to get some uh, gold too. So you can keep on doing that if you want to do that method. And we're going to go ahead and sell that mace. Because we got a sword already. And, and that's much better than the uh, mace. So if there's any items you want. You get to uh, sell that too. Keep that in mind. It gets you some extra gold. Now the uh, higher your uh, stats are later on. The more likely you get gold from that. And that's how you start out in Ultima 1. Easily. So. Next part of this uh, guide we're going to talk about is food. Now, next up is the food system. As I said before, if your food runs out, you will die. Now, in uh, dungeons, do be careful. There's an enemy called a gremlin. Well, what these little uh, bastards do is uh, if they hit you, they take half your food. And if they keep on hitting you, yeah, you're going to be uh, shortchanged with uh, low food. You have to get out and hopefully you can make it to uh, town in time or else you will die. Now, uh, food consumption is like this in uh, Ultima 1. Now, if you're walking, that's one step. Uh, it, you uh, consume food, so that's one step per food. Horse or cart is uh, every time you do two steps, it, it consumes one food. Raff is uh, four steps and it consumes one food. Frigate, those are ships. That's five steps, it consumes one food. Now, air cart, this is the uh, best uh, method in the entire game. Six set steps, uh, it will consume one food. Now, if you're in a uh, space or a certain location, it will not consume food at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, another way to get some food for free using the steal command. I'm going to go ahead and show you all on how to steal food in Ultima 1. Now, stealing, if you do get caught, you have to uh, exit town to enter again so the guard's aggro will reset. If you get hit a few times by him, you will die. So stealing is very simple. Go by the person you're going to steal, hit the S key, and steal some food. So we still stole some of it and didn't get caught. So that's how you steal. Just remember, if guards catch you, then run out of town ASAP, then repeat the process until you get enough food. Towns are very important in Ultima 1 for a few reasons to gather some information also to get items too if you have the gold. Now to your right that's your food, left is your weapons and armor. See I'm just going to show you all of that. Now your transport, uh, that's where you get your certain vehicles and such. Now higher the level, once again the more uh, better options you will definitely have. So that's it there. Now, your magic shop will also uh, be there for uh, buying spells, too. Now, uh, certain towns have different spells, so uh, definitely want to check each town on the certain spells you uh, definitely want. So, there's Lair Down, so Britain has uh, Lair Down, so we got to remember that. Write down the uh, towns that have certain spells, so this way you can visit those towns exclusively. Now, our uh, last stop will be the pub. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and explain about the uh, pub. Now, the pub is there to get information at the cost of coin. Now, if you drink too many times and your, I think it was your uh, stamina check fails, then uh, a bar winch will uh, get you drunk and steal your gold. So, definitely uh, use the towns for uh, buying and selling and much more. Let's uh, do talk about combat. So, uh, once in a while, when you do explore the overworld, You'll be facing enemies. It's very simple. Hit the A key and the direction you want to attack them. 
Later on, you hit the F key. It's the fire key on certain vehicles. So we're uh, getting to combat with this knight. And we want, now be careful, some enemies will attack you diagonally and or, or range. So uh, keep your wits up. Keep on fighting. If you need to retreat, get to the nearest town. And I hope you can make or better yet get to the nearest castle to heal up. That's it for combat. Let's talk about dungeons. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about dungeons. They're usually uh, caves when you see them on the map. A few things about dungeons. Number one, they are random throughout the uh, game. So there's no set floors. Number two, every two levels, the dungeon uh, foes will get much more tougher. So uh, be on guard. As I said before, watch out for gremlins. They steal half your food. Really dangerous bastards. So when you enter a dungeon, it's wireframe. And uh, combat's a little bit different. Instead of hitting the A in the direction you're facing, as long as you're facing your foe, simply hit A. You'll get some uh, money, which is uh, good. So my advice for dungeons is, is always fight on the first floor when you start out. And when you feel like you want to exit, you will get some hit points. So keep that in mind. And don't panic at all if you want to retreat out of the dungeon. That's fine too. I'm going to go ahead and clear this uh, next set. And this way I'll exit and show you all on the uh, how many hit points you uh, get. So we had 112. And now we have 180, which is good. Let's talk about the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and list the uh, weapons in the order that the game sets it up via alphabetical. In other words, when you hit the ready key, and then you, of course, it's A, B, C, C, or on said weapons. First of all, hands, you start out with these. Next up uh, in order is the dagger, then maces, axes. Now, rope and spike, this avoids pit traps 100%. After that is a uh, sword, great swords. Then your bow and arrow. Now, this is a ranged weapon. That means you get to attack up to three tiles. So you go ahead and attack with your bow and arrow from a very safe distance. Now, here's the next set of weapons. Now, here's the last set of weapons. Please note uh, from here on out. Some of them you'll have to find other locations instead of shops. Amulets boosts magic damage by 50%. So when you cast spells, uh, certain ones like, for example, magic missile, it'll do more damage thanks to the amulet. Now, wands, uh, it's, uh, the magic damage now is boosted by 100%. Stats, uh, magic uh, damage boosted by 200%. Same thing with the uh, triangle, boosted uh, magic damage by 200%. Now, we're going to get to the uh, weapons that you can only find in the world somewhere. That, I'll have to leave you all finding out on your own. Pistols, uh, ranged weapon attacks three tiles. Light sword, that's your best melee weapon in the entire uh, game. Phasers, range weapons attack three tiles. Last but not least is the blaster, range weapon attacks three tiles. Very best in the game. You grab the blaster pistol, that is it. Hold on to it, equip it permanently. Next up is the armor. Let's uh, go over the armor. Great news. From leather to reflex suit, they're all in the shop. So I list them in the order from the worst to the best. And uh, yeah, later on, uh, there's two pieces of armor you will definitely require in order to survive in space. So let's go over each of them. Skin, you start out with this. Obviously, you're naked. Next up is leather armor. Then it's uh, chain armor. Then after that, uh, you gain a few levels. It's plate. Once you gain much more levels, you'll be able to buy the vacuum suit. Must have on to survive in space. Otherwise, you don't have it on. You will die. Reflex suit. Very best armor in the game. Again, must have on to survive in space. So definitely want your stats up. So much gold. So this way you can buy some of these items at a much cheaper rate. Next up are the spells. I'm going to go ahead and go over the spells. For this section will be both for clerics and wizards. So here we go. Prayer cast any random clerics and wizard spells. Now it's all right, but there's other better spells out there. Open, open up coffins without triggering a trap. So that's a good thing. Unlock, open chest without triggering a trap in it. Magic missile damage one foe. If you have high in it, it does a little bit more damage. Ladder down, that means you go down a dungeon level. Extremely useful to go through a dungeon real quick to get to the bottom of it. Ladder up goes up a dungeon level real quick to get out of a dungeon. Keep on casting that. Eventually you'll exit it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the wizard only spells next. Next up are the wizard-only spells. There's a total of four of them, so I'm going to go ahead and list every single one of them. 
blink randomly teleports you around the same level in a dungeon. There's much better spells out there, to be honest. Create, create a force field in a dungeon. Kind of a moot point of doing that. Destroy, destroys a force field in a dungeon. If you're having trouble with spying a certain foes in a dungeon and a force field's there, very useful spell to have. Kill, kills one foe. That's what it does. However, it does not always work. So for the wizard only spells, get a whole uh, bunch of uh, destroy ones too. As for the uh, both of them, get a whole bunch. I mean, a lot of uh, ladder up and ladder done so you get through dungeons a lot more uh, quicker. So let's go ahead and talk about the next topic in this Ultima 1 new player guide. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about ways to raise up hit points in Ultima 1. Now, first method I showed everybody is going through a dungeon, killing a few folks and exiting said dungeon to get some hit points. Another method, if you have coin, is to visit a king. We're visiting Lord Bridge for that. So go ahead, transact, hit the T, then hit the pence, hit the P button, and donate. We're going to go ahead and hit 50 uh, on the coin. Because of that, we get 75. Those are two ways. Later on, there is a secret way by doing a certain event that you uh, definitely get 500 uh, hit points and 500 experience points. I'll let everybody discover that event. So that's it about on how to earn hit points in Ultima 1. Let's talk about the next topic. In Ultima 1, you will have to quest in order to defeat the evil wizard Mondane. So uh, you see this setup for this uh, type of castle. This is where you get the stat quest. And the stat you uh, boost up is strength. We'll get in that in greater detail later on. But for now, just uh, transact and hit service. And now uh, Lord Brish is sending you to find the grave of the lost soul. We will get to that in a uh, few moments. You always want to quest big time. Now, for the uh, next set of uh, quests, they do involve a different castle. And they are uh, part of the main story. So this is the uh, type of castle. It's usually by itself without a uh, town nearby or so. Uh, I'm going to say just go ahead and enter it. Once you do, this is the layout, so you need to transact with the uh, king here, and he'll give you a kill quest. There's total four kill quests in all, and if you do it, you get something that you definitely need for this story. I won't spoil what the item is, so yeah, you can also uh, get some hit points from said king. So you want us to kill a gelatinous cube. We're not going to do it for this guide, but still, I'm just pointing it out there. So what I'm going to uh, do next is uh, show you on how to complete the... Uh, Quest we just got from Lord British that is repeatable. Yes, you can repeat the the uh, first type of quest. Second one you can, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and enter uh, the uh, shrine we're looking for. After we uh, of course kill this pirate ship, we'll get more new uh, vehicle combat and vehicles uh, later on in the uh, guide. Yet for now, I'm just clearing out the uh, trash. So we're going to uh, said shrine in order to uh, complete the quest for Lord British. So we're almost there and there we go. Now I partly show you all this because I want everybody to discover it on their own. So we found the grave of the lost soul. Because of that the uh, quest has been uh, completed. We get to uh, go ahead and report our findings to Lord British. Now uh, I'm going to mention this uh, now. These uh, quests is from Lord British or uh, castle set up like uh, that will allow you to uh, get your strength stat it's opposite so if you have low strength you get about nine if you have higher strength it'll eventually be uh, in the form of a uh, one so I'm just uh, go ahead and uh, right now is just uh, hitting up these few shrines before uh, going back to our uh, king to turn it in so yeah you uh, definitely want to quest it up no matter what on repeatables yeah you could even use that to uh, go ahead and of course uh, Complete the uh, quest so many times so this way you get your stats maxed out Do the story quests in order to get the uh, four items you need I'll let everybody discover that on their own So we're almost there and we're gonna turn this uh, quest into our uh, king He asked us to uh, go ahead and find the uh, grave now we did so we're gonna go ahead and report our findings So I'm gonna go ahead and do that my final advice is quest up like crazy in castles like this the other uh, castle, do it for the story. There you go. Let's go ahead and repeat that. And there's our reward is nine strengths. So let's get to the next part of this guide. And Ultima 1, there are so many ways to travel. There's foot, but also by horse, raft, frigates, and eventually the air car. It's the best uh, overworld vehicle in the game. There's also shows too, but that's for uh, space. 
I'll get to that later on the video. Now the air car, you could attack foes with either your uh, normal range weapons or its own uh, vehicle fire, which is uh, good to uh, have. And another thing about the air car is it cannot go over forests and mountains, so you have to find another way in order to, uh, you know, land. So we just look for cl uh, clear uh, cl grass, and there we go. We'll just uh, land there. So hit the X button to exit in case you want to get out of it. So uh, my final advice is uh, very simple and very easy to uh, uh, do. Go save some uh, gold or aka coin for the air car. So uh, this way you uh, will uh, be able to travel freely and with ease. Now, if you die, you lose access to the air car. It goes bye-bye. So remember uh, that. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the next topic for this build video. In Ultima 1, there are two ways to gain stats. It's certain ways. The first way I'm going to talk about is gaining agility, stamina, charisma, wisdom, and intelligence. That's uh, most of the stats to set for strength. That is by visiting a uh, sign. So you hit E to enter the sign and go ahead and visit. You gain the stat. Now here's the deal. You cannot tap the same one over and over again. No. You have to go to another one. So for example, there's one that's agility that increases. And then uh, you have to go to a knit one to increase it or the nearby shrine. That increases another stat. Then you can go back and forth between the two and increase that up there. Now about signs is, is it starts out low uh, at low stats. So for example, we have our uh, intelligence at uh, 30 and we only get about four points up there. Now uh, later on in the uh, game when you further uh, get up there in your uh, said stats. So for example, if uh, intelligence is at 90, then you uh, visit the uh, sign. You get nine points for uh, that. 99 is the maximum for your uh, stats to boost. Now uh, you're asking, uh, okay, you can get most, of, can you get all the stats the same way for shrines, aka signs? No, there is one stat that you have to uh, quest for. Yeah, that's right. You uh, quest for the uh, king, and uh, if you do his uh, quest by visiting a certain shrine, and then you turn it in, then you get the strength stat up there. Now strength stat, you start out high. For example. If you have 20 strength, then you uh, get 9 points when you turn the quest. Now when you get to 90, it's uh, 1 point per uh, turn in. So my final advice is, is uh, easily get every single stat to 99, even strength too. Even though it will take a while, but it is well worth uh, doing. So let's get to the next part of this video guide. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about farming gold and Ultima 1. Now, you could do dungeons like crazy for a few hours, get some gold, which is all right. But later on, when you do get some levels, there's another way to actually get some nice piece of uh, gold. That's actually using air cart by driving all over the world to kill many foes in it. You get a lot of gold because there's a lot of foes that will definitely want to murder and maim you to death. So, yeah, so best way uh, until you do a certain event in the game, I'm not spoiling is using an air cart and going around the world and annihilating foes in it. So it's a great way to make gold. Very easy to uh, do. And that's about it for uh, farming gold. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the uh, next topic in this Ultima 1 new player guide. In Ultima 1, the only way to get some very valuable information throughout the game is visiting the inn. Also pubs too. Make sure you have gold with you. And also 99 stamina in order to get a 99 success rate from getting drunk. So keep on buying and drinking up by transacting and to buy ale. Eventually you get some very important important information, also clues too. So remember the uh, pub is a wealth of information, and I'll help you out there throughout the uh, game. So yeah, we already got some information there. Now if you're playing on the newer systems, it might go fast. So uh, definitely use DOS box to. Uh, slow it down so this way you can jot down the information on paper or on your uh, phone if you feel like it. So let's go ahead and talk about space. At some certain point in the game you will be going into space so once you buy this shuttle from a shop and you're uh, high enough in levels then you will be able to uh, go right into space. Now a few things about space make sure you have the vacuum or reflect suit on otherwise if you try going into space with something less than that 
you will die instantly. Number uh, two, make sure you have plenty of coin. Max out that uh, coin to 9999 if you need be. But 7.5k worth of coins is the best way to go. So board the shuttle and then you're ready to uh, take off. A few things about spaces with the controls. The uh, left and right uh, uh, arrow buttons, they're used to turn your ship around. Now the up button is to go forward and the back buttons go backwards. Try to go real slow. Now uh, please note when you're in space, shuttles cannot fire lasers at all. So you're going to need one of the two that you see before you. So you got to make sure you dock. Once you dock, then you pick the left or the down button. Avoid the sun. You go in the sun, you will die. You uh, run out of fuel, you just uh, drift into space, which is not good at all. You run out of shields, your ship will get destroyed. So uh, keep that in mind. Also, uh, hit the I button for your map. And if you get into a dangerous part of space, Hit the V button so this way you'll view on which enemies are uh, there. So this way you can annihilate them and shoot them. So what I'm going to go ahead and uh, do is uh, give out the uh, controls for uh, space and then some final advice about it. So here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about the uh, space keyboard commands. V, uh, when you hit that button, swaps between first and uh, third person view. F fires laser in first person view. I shows the galaxy map so where you know where you're at in space. H is hyper jump. Please note about hyper jump. This is very important to uh, know. Whatever direction you're facing, that's where you're going to hyper jump. So if you are uh, facing north, you will hyper jump north. So keep that in mind. That's why hitting the eye is constantly useful. And when you hyper jump, you get into first person view. So remember uh, that. So here's some uh, tips. Uh, firing lasers moving and hyper jump causes fuel. So yeah, try to be conservative about your fuel. Dock if you need to refuel at a station, this will cost coin. So that's why I say get a lot of coin for uh, this. To land on Earth, you must have a shuttle. If not, you will die. Usually the shuttle in space is where you uh, parked it by Earth. Uh, make sure you avoid the sun. Do not go in the direction of the sun. You will die. Now, if you're slow enough against the hostile aliens and you get destroyed, you will die in space. Now, uh, if you're uh, low on fuel and it gets to zero, you'll drift in space. That's about it for uh, space. I'm going to go ahead and get some final advice before I do end the video guide. Here's some final advice before I do end the video. So when you do start out, equip yourself with some all right weapons and armor. If you want to donate a uh, uh, coin at the pool so this way... You get some nice weapons and armor from it. Now uh, hit up the dungeons so this way you can start farming for some first set of hit points and uh, gold. Once you get your hit point and food situation settled, uh, save up enough money for the air cart to explore the uh, world. Uh, make sure you uh, boost up your uh, stats big time either by questing or uh, better yet tapping the shrines over and over again until they're all at 99. Now uh, at some certain point in the uh, game, you definitely want to talk to uh, kings for uh, story quests and certain ones too. When you're in space, make sure you have the uh, vacuum or reflect suit on or you will die. Make sure you have over 7.5k worth of gold to survive space. One more thing, have fun with Ultima 1. It's a blast. Well everyone, this is it for my Don't Panic Ultima 1, the first Age of Darkness new player God, This is Lord Fenton sign off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern gaming content like this. If you like what you see, then uh, pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner. If you like YouTube's suggestion, pick it on the bottom left hand corner. Have a wonderful day or night and do please stay safe.